Hi everybody, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, another lawsuit going against the cruise lines. This time it's Celebrity Cruise Lines. And also this time, it's a class action suit from the employees. That's right, a class action suit was filed against Celebrity Cruise Line in a court in Miami stating that the cruise line failed to help prevent the spread of the virus on the cruise ships to crew members. Um, it's filed on behalf of a single crew member from the Celebrity Apex, the brand new ship that they have, who contracted the virus while on the ship. Um, a class action suit, as you know, is you know usually hundreds or thousands of participants, but you only need one to start your class action suit, and you can bring more people in after that. So the the lawyer is Michael Winkleman from Miami, Florida. He's a marine, maritime law lawyer, and if that name sounds familiar, you're saying, well, how do I, why do I know that name? Why do I know a name of a lawyer in Miami that I've never dealt with? Uh, it's because this gentleman is the same gentleman who's handling the lawsuit against Royal Caribbean and with the grandfather who dropped the baby from the ship and is suing the cruise line saying that the window should not have been opened and meanwhile the grandfather's pleaded guilty in court so that's the same lawyer handling that case so they're looking more than likely for as many crew members as possible and so far you know they have the one and then they'll reach out to other celebrity employees they're stating that you know despite what happened on the diamond princess in japan that the cruise line failed to stop crew members from eating in the buffet area, the crew members buffet area, or getting together for social activities and still having mandatory safety drills and events on the ship, like training sessions on the ship. And it also states that while the passengers were on there, they didn't really, they still had to serve people and they were more likely at risk because of the close quarters they work in the kitchen and the food service industry area of the ship than you know the passengers themselves who were isolated on their in their in their rooms um, so there's a lot of questions and legalities back and forth I contacted a couple lawyers that I sometimes deal with and they both had different opinions on this and they're saying, yeah, that they, you know, they should have been issued masks. They should have been separated right away. They should have been doing this. Meanwhile, the other person, the other lawyer said, well, did they partake in the company events like the, the, the party that was going on or the dance that was going on? Because if they voluntarily went to those things, then the, if they knew the risks, they were wondering why the cruise ship wasn't handling those risks and quarantine people, then why would you go to that event? You're, you have to assume responsibility for yourself as well. So those will be some questions that will be asked. And as far as serving the, the customers are concerned, well, you're on a cruise ship, you're stuck in the ocean, the people have to eat, including the crew members. So somebody had to make the food. It's not like you could order, you know, pizza, pizza and have it delivered to the cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. So did they do enough though to separate it would be the question asked and because this situation was such an ongoing ramped up situation i mean when we first heard about this in january people were shrugging it off february we were a little well a little bit more concerned okay we got a couple cases in the united states now we have to watch out for and then in march everything blew up so did the cruise lines have any more information than we did? I mean, I was on a cruise ship in February. I felt quite safe. I was having a good time. I went with my friends Tony and Jenny to celebrate their anniversary. We had fun. It was no problem. Two weeks later, I was, no, I will not go on a cruise ship until this is solved because things change that rapidly. So if things change that rapidly, did the cruise line respond quickly enough 
with what they had available to them? This would be the question asked in court, and we'll see how much, you know, how many people decide from the cruise line themselves, as far as the crew members, decide to join this Clax Ashton lawsuit. Because you have to imagine, if you sign up for this lawsuit, remember, most of them are on contract. So if you sign up for this class action lawsuit and, and they know you've signed up for it, would they invite you back if you want to return to your job? All kinds of things, right? Um, so yeah, it's going to be a very interesting case. It's the first one I've seen that the crew members are suing the cruise line and they're suing it for all celebrity ships, even though so far it's the one person from the Apex is the person who has filed a, 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 the, the main claimant in the class action lawsuit. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think? Do you think most of the cruise lines did what they could under the circumstances? Um, you can't just stop serving food uh, to 4,000 people on a cruise ship uh, for a week. You, you just can't do it. Something had to be done. Uh, so, the, but did, you know, did they take other precautions? Did they hand out masks fast enough? Did they segregate the crew members who were quick enough who were diagnosed? All this sort of thing, all kinds of questions. Let me know what do you think. Do you think there's lost this action is going to be huge, or do you think no one's really going to sign up for it, or do you think it's going to be like a mixture and maybe they're hoping for a settlement out of court, something a little quicker and less expensive? Because a cruise line can fight this for years and years and years and years, and class action saw lawsuits are expensive to litigate. So I don't know how long the lawyers are going to want to go. Uh, will, they, will they argue this for six years in court and draw up millions of dollars worth of expenses on the chance they, you know, <laughs> who's paying for all this money? So we'll see what happens. It's, it's going to be, it's, a, it's a, an era of litigation, as we like to say. Everybody likes to sue over everything nowadays, but they may have a case here and they may not. Let me know what you guys think down below. And until next time, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.